How you doing? I'm Matt Walden. We're here with Mishimoto in a 1994 Ford Mustang. Now, if you know anything about the 94 Ford Mustang, you know that they have radiator problems. And by radiator problems, I mean chassis problems. These cars literally rip the radiator and tanks apart. Mishimoto has come up with this patent pending design that completely isolates the radiator from the chassis. Thus, no more radiator cracking. You won't have any problems with this radiator. It's fully polished, fully TIG welded. It's beautiful. Not only does it cool well, it looks great. This is the radiator you need in your Mustang. For the Mishimoto radiator install on the 94 Ford Mustang, you will need a ratchet, 516 socket, 932nd socket, Phillips head screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, eight millimeter nut driver, pair of pliers, coolant, and a coolant funnel. Installation time is about an hour and a difficulty of three out of five. First step to the install is to jack up the car and get it supported securely on jack stands. Next step is to remove the negative battery terminal. We're gonna fold this, lay this off to the side for a minute then. This is the coolant drain. You wanna open this up, wait for all the coolant to drain out. While the coolant's drain, find yourself someplace scenic to sit back and relax for a minute. Real scenic, guys. Real scenic. This is, this is honestly the best you could do. Next step underneath is to remove the lower radiator hose from the radiator. And you want to be careful because some residual coolant may come out. Locate the lower radiator hose where it connects to the engine and disconnect the hose clamp here as well. And after this, the lower radiator hose can be completely removed from the engine bay. Next, you want to remove the upper hose clamps on the upper radiator hose. One being on the engine, the other one being on the radiator. Unplug the coolant bottle and unbolt the coolant bottle bracket from the radiator support. While you're in here, disconnect the coolant tube like that. Move that out of the way for the time being. This is the biggest reservoir ever. Next, you want to remove the two upper radiator brackets that hold everything in. One of the screws is on top of the rad support. The other one is right in front of the battery. And it's kind of hard to see and get to. Kind of get an idea where you're going here. And there's two of them over on this side. Next up, move the AC line out of the way slightly and pull the radiator straight out, being careful not to damage anything on, the, on its way. As you can see with the radiator side by side, the Mishimoto is obviously much wider than the, than the OE Rad. And with big power comes big cooling responsibilities. It's beautiful end tanks, fully polished, fully TIG welded, all metal design is superior over the plastic design of the OE. Not only does the OE mount directly to the chassis, the Mishimoto is isolated by this new bracket that they've come up with so that nothing can damage the radiator. Next thing on the list here is to transfer over the fans. You're going to want to take your 5 16 ratchet, unscrew the fan bolts from the side of the radiator here. 
Transfer the fan over to the Mishimoto unit. We're almost ready to put it back in. We have the original radiator out. Be sure to remove the coolant overflow tube as well. Switch that over to the Mishimoto unit. Once the coolant overflow tank line's on, we're almost ready to go back in. Let's go over the chassis and make sure that the rubber stops are in where they're supposed to be. Make sure that the rubber stops are in the bottom of the lower radiator support. If they're in bad condition or need replacing, now's a good time to do so. Time to slide the Mishimoto radiator back in. Again, be wary of all the wiring and the AC line that's in here. Make sure the pegs on the bottom of rad support fall into the holes where the rubber bushings are. Next step, reinstall the upper radiator brackets. Put the left side on and get the right side in as well before you go ahead and put in any bolts in it. As well as a coolant catch bottle. Be sure that the tab slides into the bottom holder. Next, you want to plug in the electric fan, as well as the coolant level sensor and the radi radiator overflow bottle. Now that we got those old nasty rubber hoses out of the way, time for the new Mishimoto silicone hose kit. It's not only gonna look great, it's gonna last a long time, a lot longer than rubber. Fresh hose clamps go a long way right here. Incoming. Now install the lower hose onto the radiator. And we're all set. Time to go up, up top, fill her up. You wanna use a 50-50 mix of water and antifreeze. Make sure you try to get it as close to 50-50 as possible, that way you can avoid any freeze ups in the winter time. Go ahead and start up the car and make sure the heat is turned on high. That'll allow you to get any air bubbles out of the system. Make sure you don't have any leaks and you're good to go. This is Matt Walden signing off with a 94 Mustang and Mishimoto.